This is Charles's day, um, and that's where the focus should be. And I'm very sorry that in the lead up to the decision that's been finally announced today, um, there's been so much attention on um, Harry and Meghan. I mean, I think it is rude that they've taken so long to answer a very simple question. You're invited to this occasion. Are you coming? And uh, they've kept us all on tenterhooks for weeks and weeks. kept on tender hooks because we wanted to be on them, okay? We didn't have to pay so much attention to them. People do, and it's not necessary. I agree with you about, and, and Dickie, this is the king's day, and this is the king's day as long as we allow it to be the king's day. And I think that when Harry comes, I think he will contribute to it being the king's day. And not only that, his dad's day. And I'm very proud of him. I think it's a very mature decision. William, by definition, has got a very important role to play uh, during the coronation ceremony, and therefore I think he will be physically apart from Harry, so we won't be able to analyse their every look, their every movement. Uh, the two will be separated, um, and there's no reason for them to, to meet at all, because I think Harry's going to fly straight in and straight out, as he did quite recently for a court case, apparently without seeing anyone. Uh, so there may be no meeting between the two brothers, and the animosity between the two, the two obviously is still very, very deep. Um, so I think it will all go as smoothly as these royal occasions do go and we will all try to draw some kind of conclusions um, about how they're looking at each other but none of it will be realistic I don't think. Um, I think the tensions are so deep and the rift so hurtful at the moment that it's going to take more than a flying visit by, by Harry to put things right.